Hello everyone and thank you for visiting the channel. For today's video, we have a subscriber request from Key Creator Lemon to build a Brimes Blight of Warsco's EDH, but with a twist that it should not be an aristocrat strategy, but rather focus on a Phyrexian tribal style of play. Since Brimas can incubate for each Phyrexian creature we cast, building an army of Phyrexian creatures should be easier as most creatures we control would trigger this ability. However, as far as his proliferate trigger goes, we will keep this to a minimum and use the incubator tokens instead for other values. We'll start off with some fast and cheap Phyrexian creatures that can come down early and trigger Brimaz's incubate ability. Battlefly Swarm, Bilius Skull Dweller, and Cathedral Membrane can each come down on turn 1 and establish early defense. Progenitor Exar can tap to transform an incubator token without paying for any mana, and can even be cast with extra X mana and have itself incubate as well, while Crawling Chorus and Skrelv Defector might adds a bit of poison theme to our deck, where Skrelv can also protect a creature with its ability, including our commander. Adenmer Convert and Plaguewear to our mini poison theme while giving us access to some additional mana. Next, we'll add some Phyrexian themed synergies from creatures including Grafted Butcher, which grants each Phyrexian creature we control plus one plus one and adds some evasion. Norn's Inquisitor gives an additional counter to our incubator tokens when they transform. We can also add Elias Elcor Sadistic Pilgrim and Suture Priest to drain our opponent's lives whenever a creature enters on their side, as well as Benelish Sleeper and Annex Sentry for some permanent control. Then Phyrexian Sensor slows down our opponents by limiting the number of spells they cast, while tapping down non-Phyrexian creatures as they enter. Once we've established some early board presence, it's time to bring in our heavy hitters. Blight Titan is a 6-6 giant that helps us incubate more as it enters play or when it attacks. Soul of New Phyrexia can protect our army whether it's in play or in the graveyard, and Geth Lord of the Vault can steal a creature or artifact from an opponent's graveyard. Kirk Son of Yawgmoth, a powerful commander on its own, can also be added to our 99 as it helps with casting of spells, while his lifelink ability paired with his ability to grow can provide us with some life gain. Now, moving on to some artifact synergies. Our incubator tokens can be used to add more Phyrexian creatures on our side, or be used with cards like Nettle Cyst and Cranial Plating to provide a creature some power boost that gets bigger the more we control artifacts. Trading Post allows us to turn these tokens into card draw, while Inspiring Statuary gives our non-artifact spells improvise, allowing us to essentially use our tokens to lower mana costs. Finally, to put more pressure on our opponents, we will add some anthem effects like etchings of the chosen and sculpted perfection to increase Phyrexian creature stats, as well as Phyrexian awakening to grant them vigilance and keep them ready for both offense and defense. If you want to upgrade this deck but still keep its theme of a non-aristocrat strategy, here are some non-budget options we can add to the deck. Phyrexian Obliterator and Phyrexian Vindicator may both be challenging to cast, but once we get them in play, both will be very difficult to remove while they chop significant life from our opponents. Shoulder the Apocalypse is a very efficient beater that punces our opponents when they draw too many cards. Blightsteel Colossus can instantly eliminate a player with single attack, and Eleshnorn Grand Cenobite gives a great boost to our army, while weakening or even removing some of our opponent's creatures. Overall, Brimaz is a fun commander that easily floods the board and overwhelm our opponents with Phyrexian creatures. Though the commander is designed to cater to an aristocrat strategy, this doesn't limit the design possibilities, and can very much trade blows with any tribal aggro deck in the format. To see my full list of this deck, please click the link on the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like share and subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. So until next time, thank you for visiting and see you all in our next Quick Deck Tech.